thought you might. Were they expensive? It didn't cost a thing. I made them myself. How? Kuther Polly and I bought a used 3D printer for $5,000. <laughs> $5,000 for a couple of dolls? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Action figures are just one of several creations enabled by 3D printing. In this video, we discuss 3D printing and its implications beyond comedy. <laughs> 3D printing is an emerging technology that materialized in the 1980s. Since then, it has flourished with the rise of open source software making it easy for anyone to build a 3D model. But how does it work? 3D printing uses the process of additive manufacturing to build three-dimensional objects from a digital file. Essentially, 3D printers follow a blueprint, laying down successive layers of material until an object is made. This differs from traditional manufacturing, where parts are cut from materials or formed using casts. Using this 3D printing process, the University of Minnesota has created impressive medical advancements. For example, they are able to print working heart muscle pumps and have learned how to 3D print on contracting and expanding organs. As evidenced by these creations, 3D printing has the opportunity to be more innovative than traditional manufacturing. When utilizing this technology as a tool for innovation, businesses facilitate digital transformation the process of building a new and improved version of yesterday's business. But which businesses should prioritize the adoption of 3D printing? 3D printing has the potential to impact several industries. Medical, automotive, aerospace, jewelry, furniture, the list goes on. Based on the U of M's research and a 2020 literature review of 3D printing, we posit that the greatest disruptions will occur in the medical industry, the automotive industry, and the aerospace industry. To highlight the benefits, let's look at Honeywell, one of the early adopters in the aerospace industry. If we go to Honeywell's blogs and search 3D printing, some intriguing entries pop up. Within this post, Lauren De La Fuente describes Honeywell's success with 3D printing. First, Honeywell product designers experience greater creative freedom. 3D printing enables the use of complex curves and allows for weight redistribution. Second, Honeywell achieves faster development of prototypes. With 3D printing, a new design can become a product in days compared to months. Third, and perhaps most exciting, 3D printing fosters supply chain transformation. With widespread 3D printing capabilities, a global design can be printed on demand, substantially lowering shipping costs. The technology also accommodates mass customization a growing source of value for businesses. As with any new technology, businesses must overcome challenges to create and capture value. For 3D printing, supply chain transformation appears to be the greatest source of value. However, it is also the greatest source of challenge. Consider this scenario. To produce a part in Minneapolis using a design from India, the design must be shared with the facility in Minneapolis. This makes the design susceptible to security threats such as illegal reprints and data file manipulation. Alternatively, if someone can access the data, then they may sabotage it, potentially putting lives at risk. Researchers have proposed a solution to this challenge, a blockchain-based 3D printing platform. Blockchains function by storing digital inputs in blocks. Once stored, a key is required to access the contents, in this case, a product design, thereby minimizing the issue of illegal reprints. Furthermore, blocks are verified as true and cannot be altered, thus preventing manipulation. The solution appears feasible. A majority of product designs are already digital. However, the required trust among partners may present an obstacle. Overall, 3D printing presents a promising future for both businesses and consumers. From the business perspective, supply chain transformation has the potential to improve efficiency and profits. From the consumer perspective, it has the potential to improve variety and availability. Who knows? In the next five years, 3D printed products may be everywhere. What will you make?